fans, and I'm going to get into the instant match reaction to Minnesota United 3, uh, Montreal Impact 2. Um, this was in Montreal, um, and it was a strange lineup from Heath. There was a lot of rotation. Um, it was like five or six, uh, I want to say five players or even six maybe coming into the starting lineup. Um, but... Um, it started off awful, actually. Um, just a easy ball down the line, and Coleman's not paying attention and gets beat by Jackson Hamill, and then should do better to not let him cut in onto his left foot um, once Coleman catches up to him and is beat. Um, it, it, it's all Coleman gets absolutely destroyed. Happens. Uh, it was early. Coleman played a bit, got got into the game after that and played a bit better, um, but uh, came out lackadaisical in that first minute and gave and definitely was a hundred percent his fault. Um, gets beat and on his side and isn't able to come up and dispossess the player once he catches up and lets him cut into his left foot like I said and he just buries it on the left near post and it was a good finish from Jackson Hamill um and Montreal came into this game like third into the east so it's not like we were playing a bad team or and we had a lot of rotation so it looked that didn't start out so well and then um luckily in the ninth minute uh Kevin Molino dropped who's who played outstanding tonight he was uh dropping dimes um to Mason Toy, and he played outstanding, absolutely outstanding, and came into that Darwin creative midfield role, not midfield, but creative forward midfield, he drops in, he was dropping everywhere, um, he was really dictating the play, and he played extremely well, um, Molino drops it into Toy, and Toy has a great touch, and is able to hit it right over the goalie to go, uh, to tie it, um, it was a good finish right over him, he didn't pick left or right, it was just right above him, and the goalie can't make a save because he was coming out, um, but it was a good finish from Toy, and I've been a big fan of Toy for a couple of years now, but uh, it's definitely showing why he should get some more game time as he's played, I think, 150 minutes, he's got recently, and has like four or five goals, a couple assists, I believe, but after being subbed on... Um, on the weekend or on midweek, uh, and not not playing so well the first half or fifteen minutes he was on, and then coming on and playing in that next fifteen minutes a little bit better. He showed a really good start from Mason Toy until Angelo was subbed on for him later. But Toy played great. Um, but unfortunately, we can't keep the lead, and I don't know how we don't defend this set piece. It was like no one in the on the whole team wanted to defend it besides Vito, who didn't have the opportunity because any of his players, they just every single one of them stood there and watched the ball, and it, it bounces off a Montreal Impact player and lands right in front of him again, and he's able to just absolutely smash it in, just put a lot of power on it, and it was able to smash it in. It was definitely unsavable as... Can't expect Vito to save it. And some absolute awful, awful, awful uh, set piece defending. Um, and so Montreal takes the lead, and that was in the thirteenth minute after we had just scored in the ninth. So it was, it was tough to start so bad, and then tie it back, and then right after tying it, you give up the lead. And the rest of the first half was kind of back and forth. Uh, they were getting some chances a little bit but we didn't have what we wanted it just wasn't clicking um we couldn't get our attack going there was a lot of defending 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 um and this is a bunch of bench players and the squad players who are usually aren't everyday starters not bunch but there are several in there and they played well and they had been playing well when they had been coming on um in different games and they some of them deserved to start and such but it was a bit strange to do it um 
away to Montreal. I mean, I understand we have a busy week, but I, I figured we could do some rotation against New Mexico United because um, I feel like we could, we should be able to beat a USL side um, even with our squad rotation rotated, rotated out. Um, but it didn't play very well. And then until the right before halftime, um, I believe it was Olam or I can't remember who brought it through in the midfield. I had the through ball pass to um, Finley, but Toy Ducks, and they just, the, uh, the Montreal Impact de defender slides to try and tackle it. Before it gets through and misses it, and Finley's through on net. And uh, it was probably, I'd say, the one of the worst breakaways I've seen. I love Ethan Finley, he plays really well, hard working. But this was a really bad breakaway. He had all the time in the world to figure out how to beat the goalie, chip him, shoot or past him, do something, dribble past him. And he does dribble past him and draws the penalty, which I cannot complain about. But I'd really like on a one-on-one -on -one breakaway if that should be a goal almost every time. And if the goalie makes an incredible save, that's, that's that. But... It, it had to have been a better take from Ethan Finley, but he gets the penalty, and with Darwin Nuts playing tonight, um, the only other player on the field that had taken a penalty would be Kevin Molino in 2007 for us that year. Um, but Ethan called his own number and picked up the ball and took the penalty, and he buried it right before halftime in the 45th plus. Um, and we go into halftime tied 2-2. And... It was a good goal to score right before after and give us some momentum. I'm sure Heath got on him, and he definitely did because right uh, after half we come out and Kevin Molino drops an absolute dime again to Mason Toy, and Mason Toy has the best first touch to just bring it down, and then he easily composed finish in the bottom left corner, just rolls it right in, uh, slots it in the bottom right corner, and it was a great goal. Kevin Molino was great with some of those passes, dropping dimes. But um, Mason Toy with a great finish, and we go up 3-2. Um, they made a couple substitutions um, in the 60th minute, um, kind of try and switch it up, and they were playing really, really well towards the end uh, of the second half. And we, in the in the middle, when we subbed on Miguel and for Finley and Asani in the midfield for Martin, um, we that when we first subbed him on, we it we had the ball a little bit more, a little bit of possession, and a little bit of the more possession not from them, but we had a little bit more possession than we were having, um, and we were able to at least have them off the ball a bit. But um, the last 10 15 minutes of the game, it was we were defending for our lives, it almost seems like, and the last five. Five minutes was just nerve-wracking. Vito had to make save after save after save. And Brownie, I believe it was, or um, Jackson Hummel maybe had a shot before he got subbed off. But I, I think it was Brownie um, who had some who had a shot in the top that was going to go in the top right, and Vito had to make a save. And he had one that almost went in the top left corner, and... Right at the end, it was they were just taking shots and shots, and it was really nerve wracking at the end. But Vito had a bunch of good saves, and um, there's some no nonsense defending. I'll call it that because we we had to just clear it sometimes. Um, we were trying to play it out, and it just didn't work. But it was a really, really, really good road win. And at the time, we Seattle, I think, was losing. Um, but uh, we ended up, after the game that night, we ended up being in fourth place in the West. So that is a plus, and that is a home playoff game the first uh, round. So that would be awesome if we can keep that home uh, field advantage. And I know it's a little bit early, but um, it's nice to be up on the top of the table. Not very top, but near the top of the table. And hopefully we can stay there because I've, we have a so much squad depth, and this was a huge statement win with 
all that rotation with Colin Martin was playing and uh, Eric Miller came into the backfield into the, into uh, right back and Olam started, um, Schuler started, Toy started, um, Molino started. It was it was a lot of a lot of rotation in it. And it was a big statement win to come to the top team in the East and beat them on the road like that with your with your squad. Not even a lot of your starters because of the busy schedule. Um, but that's all for me. And uh, go ahead and go check out the player ratings. Uh, thanks for watching.